How to calculate response rate in SBSS. If you're working on a survey or any kind of research and need to figure out how many people responded, you're in the right place. Calculating the response rate is an essential part of your analysis, and doing it in SBSS is relatively straightforward. First, let's make sure your data is organized. You need to know to key pieces of information, whether each participant responded, yes or no, and the total number of people in your target population. This total number might not be in your SBSS dataset, but you'll need it for the calculations. Next, you might need to create a new variable in your dataset to indicate whether each case is a response or not. To do this, go to transform recode into different variables or compute variable. Here, you can create a binary variable where one indicates a response and zero indicates no response. Now let's calculate the response rate. You have a couple of options to do this in SBSS. Using descriptive statistics, go to analyze descriptive statistics frequencies. Select your response variable, the one you just created, and click OK. This will give you the count of responses, ones, and non-responses, zeros. For example, if you see 200 responses out of a possible 500, you can manually calculate the response rate. Using Compute Variable If you prefer a single value for the response rate, go to Transform Compute Variable. Name your new variable, for example, response rate. In the numeric expression box, enter the Fumitslisad Pajiasyam, Raspansa Verpubd, slash target population, 100. Replace response variable with the name of your response variable and target population with the total number of individuals in your target population. Click OK. For instance, if you had 200 responses out of 500 people, the formula would besa basad emoji 200 slash 500. 100 is equal to fuddy percent. Interpreting the results. The resulting value in the response rate variable will give you the percentage of respondents from the target population. Make sure to clearly report this response rate in your research findings and discuss its implications. Additional tips. Always ensure your data is clean and that you've addressed any issues related to missing values before performing these calculations. It's also good practice to document the steps taken and assumptions made when calculating your response rate for transparency. By following these steps, you will be able to efficiently calculate the response rate using SBSS and include this important metric in your research analysis.